What up, Dokkan Hunters? There are two things that I would always recommend players do as a bare minimum in Dokkan. Number one, logging in, getting the stones for simply logging in. Number two, doing the Roshi Turtle School training event every single day. This event gives you Zenny, free training on certain characters, free training items, and above all, it gives you a boosted chance at link leveling up your links. That is very, very important given how difficult and how tedious and annoying it can be to link level up your characters, which is why this update is very nice. We are getting an even higher level of difficulty on this event. Now, this was never a challenge event. This is not a challenge event in any stretch of the imagination. This is simply a daily task that you should be doing, sort of like brushing your teeth, taking a shower. You should do this one at least once per day. Well, no, brushing your teeth, taking a shower, you do more than once. This one, you're only allowed to do once per day, so that doesn't exactly apply, but you know what I mean. Just do this once per day, get this over with. Now with the new difficulty, you're going to be earning even more rewards, and that is definitely the better way to go. Looking at the event details here, it's just basically a higher stamina consumption. You either spend 10 or 30. I would recommend spending the 30 because it is more worth it. Look at how much more XP you're getting. You're getting almost tripled. You're getting double the character XP here. Rank XP is tripled. Character XP is doubled. Zenny count is quintupled, which is insane and then you're also getting uh random training items and then on top of that you're also going to be getting boosted chances for your link levels to go up so looking at the event details here we've got the link level rate coefficient of 4.5 so what this basically means is you take the standard odds of a link going from one to two two to three three to four whatever it is and then you multiply that by the link level coefficient that ultimately gives you the odds of that link level up happening on that particular run so obviously with the new stage, with the more stamina consumption, you are also getting a higher coefficient. This does not compare to some of the limited events that we've had in the past. Like two years ago during the Worldwide Download Countdown, we received this Guru event, which gave us basically a 19.5 coefficient, which made things a whole lot better to link level up. And then last year, or actually just this year, a couple months ago, we got this one, 38.25. That is a crazy number which was uh, very, very good for a lot of people. A lot of people were able to get some link level ups during this event. This is very much a limited time thing, only available for very auspicious occasions. So this wouldn't necessarily be available all the time, which is why for an event that is available every single day, I would say that seven as the coefficient is pretty good. So this is definitely worth doing, not even just for all these rewards, but for the link level up, for just, just that alone is, is worth it. Because all that time you could be spending doing 28, two, eight, nine, seven, 10, whatever it is, you could just be getting it done on this stage once per day. Now, this is set to drop on Global on the 12th, I think, because preparation starts on the 10th, and we do have an update for 5.8.0 with all of the burst mode stuff, all the bug fixes. I think this is set to drop on the 11th at reset. Let me actually find that here. Maintenance notice. I just talked about this on the previous video. Yeah, the 11th at reset is when we're going to be going into maintenance for this. So I imagine during that time, we will also be getting the update for this. The, the stage will also, I forgot to mention, will give you launch sometimes. Launch gives you the opportunity to earn, I think, up to like 10 million extra Zenny. And then on top of that, you can, I think you can also earn like an Elder Kai or a Sleeping Kai or something like that. So this is really, really good. And it is worth doing every single day. And if you don't care about any of that, do it for stones. Because if you might have noticed here, these missions are attached to this event. Here are the stage once, twice, four, five, six, seven, 30 times. Oops. 30 times. 50, 77, all the way to 150. So a grand total of 50 stones can be earned over the span of basically five months. Doesn't seem like a lot, but is you know, every little bit helps. So this is worth doing simply for just getting these missions done. And now with the new update, we're getting even more missions, which will give us even more stones. So if you guys are brand new to this game, you could be earning upwards of over 100 dragon stones over the span of, well, it's going to take some time. Let's actually take a look at how long it's going to take here because... Going to 150 times is already a pretty big commitment. That's basically five months. You have to add another 850 months on top of that because we go to 200, 300, 400, 500. Yeah, all the way to 1000. So uh, they're making a very big statement by doing this because they're basically saying Dokkan is not going anywhere anytime soon. You will be here for the 1000 times that you're running this event that you can earn all 105 stones if you're brand new but 55 if you're someone who's already accomplished the first half of missions but hey by the time we get to the point where we can actually earn this what if there's a new dragon ball anime what if there is a brand new chapter in the ma oh, not the manga but in the anime where we can now go into more stuff to summon for in dokkan dokkan is only going to see a massive resurgence when the anime when the series comes back so before this even reaches its end point 
we will be going into the rebirth of Dokkan, or its second wind, if you will. And it is going to be glorious. So this is going to be dropping very, very soon, along with everything else. Look forward to it and get ready to start doing this event every single day. Whether or not you care about the links, do it for the stones. That's all that matters. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below in the comments. Do you run this event every single day? What is your daily routine in Dokkan? If you don't play the game a whole lot throughout the day, do you at least do logins and then do certain runs or certain chores, certain tasks? What is your daily routine in Dokkan? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more Dokkan content in the future and click the notification bell so that you let YouTube know you want to see more of my stuff. Do it! Thanks again. Stay tuned and I'll return to Dokkan responsibly.